So initial reports are saying Adrian Wojnarowski just announced that the yes, the Milwaukee Bucks are interviewing Kenny Atkinson, head assistant coach of the Golden State Warriors, for that opening spot. As we know, they have you know talked about interviewing Charles Lee, which I have said if they're not going to hire a championship winning coach, it's probably going to be Charles Lee because you keep it in house. But my man, former Charlotte Hornets head coach, and he was actually Orlando Magic head coach for like intern basis and a lineage of the San Antonio Spurs, Greg Popovich coaching tree, James Borrego. So right now there will be additional candidates and interviews Adrian Wojnarowski is putting out there, but we know Kenny Atkinson's there, Charles Lee, James Borrego. I like James Borrego and supposedly it seems like a lot of people around the league are liking James Borrego and there's like a hype behind him. So I'm very glad to hear that. But we're talking Kenny Atkinson, a guy who is known for his player development, his his good coaching, his adjustments. And he's a fun guy to watch. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. Let's get into it. And when you look at the current situation with Charles Lee, James Borrego, Kenny Atkinson, the thing that they're all coming from is, you know, winning organizations, the Spurs, the Warriors. All right. And the Bucks and all teams that, you know, have emphasized three-point shooting, ball movement, and defense. And that's kind of what it seems like they're trying to do right here. And it makes sense to me that that's what they want to do. So I do think getting a guy like Kenny Atkinson or James Borrego or even, you know, Charles Lee as your coach is a good option. And supposedly more candidates are going to come out. I know we've all said Frank Vogel, Nick Nurse, or us like the main people because it's just the natural assumption of where they would go because that's where I would go. And again, it's again, more and more time will reveal what, what will go on and why, but, but that's where we're going to leave the video up here. My dog bark. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think it's definitely very interesting to see how it all plays out. Definitely with, I think they're going to take their time and do a very thorough process because you don't know what's really going to be the coach that they're going after. So I think that'll, you know, hold variance in what they do. So let me hear your thoughts down below on who do you think should be good coach and why? Yeah, I just think it'll just go with more and more time. We'll see that they're definitely going to be going for someone that emphasizes the key areas that they're trying to improve in. But besides that, yeah, I can't think anything else to say besides that. I hope you guys do have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love every single one of you. Poopies. Ooh.